Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October 2019. Looking at life and love, I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now and a truly meaningful one for you as well. It is going to be at the end of the month. I'm going to fast forward here for you because that is the highlight of the month, the new moon that takes place in your sign. Now, normally you get one new moon per sign per year, and this is yours. This is your moment, a moment to begin again, a moment to consider the possibilities and the opportunities for your life. But it is not just this new moon. It's the fact that this month there is energy building in your sign. It's a, a party going on, if you will. As planets one by one enter your sign, it is going to be this sense of you coming into yourself coming into an appreciation of who you are. Now, the other layer of understanding to that new moon, well, it is standing across the sky from Uranus. So there's a sense of freedom, a sense of possibility, a sense of changing quickly, like you and your understanding of who you are and what matters to you most and what matters to you first, changing significantly and fast. In some way, you are leaping into your future, a future that feels more authentic and more real. And it may very well be that another person is part of facilitating the awareness that you need that helps to propel you forward. At the same time, though, Mercury is going to be slowing right down to a standstill and on Halloween officially going retrograde. This is a big deal for a few reasons. It's happening in your sign. And what that says is as much as you may feel ready to leap into your future, to start fresh, as much as this truly is one of those high point moments for you as part of the larger trajectory of this year and of 2019, at the same time, there is some sense of reconsideration, of reflection that is happening for you now as you consider who you really are and what it is that truly does matter to you. As much as it is that you are moving forward at this new moon, at the same time, there may be life saying, pace yourself a little bit, check in with yourself, make sure you like whom it is that you are and the direction in which you are going. And is asking you to be more deeply honest with yourself with whatever new opportunities, new possibilities, new inspirations are showing up for you. That is truly magical. That is something truly filled with possibilities and, and filled with excitement. But with the excitement comes a need to take a little bit of a step back and to make sure that you are, to the best of your ability, taking as grounded approach as possible along your pathway forward. You are beginning again, and yet in some ways it may feel like you're beginning, but you need to hurry up and wait, if you will. You're starting fresh, but there may be something within you that is you know, wanting to be sure that you actually do want to move in a particular direction. You feel inspired to make big changes, and yet you are wanting to ensure that they truly are rooted in a voice that is authentic and honoring of you. And this is wise. This is going to be, and giving you a heads up in November, November is a powerful Mercury retrograde month. Yes, Mercury officially goes retrograde at the very end of this month, but is retrograde through November. And it is going to be what happens this month that you are reflecting back on, that you are looking back on once we move you forward. I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way. And of course, I'll talk about it next month. However, this is when the party starts, okay? This is when you begin a very valuable journey that will take you well beyond this month and next month as well. With a new moon like this, with a Mercury retrograde like this, chances are what you realize and learn about yourself now will stay with you for years to come. So pay attention. It is going to be uh, right around the 11th that Mercury enters shadow. You want to be sure you're paying attention to what happens right around that time. 
and going forward from there throughout October because in November you will return to it and see it differently. Now let's bring it back. Let's go to the beginning of the month, right? I did a little bit backwards, not necessarily going in chronological order right out of the gate. I wanted to get to the good stuff, but it's all good stuff. It always is. As you start this month, you are doing so with the energy of the new moon that took place late last month. That took place in the sign just before yours. And so there continues this energy of cleansing and closure in the first few days of this month. As we navigate to the middle of the month, we are going to have a full moon. This full moon is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life. It is your work uh, and your workplace and the type of work you're doing, the people who surround you there, your coworkers, your clients, your customers, all of that is covered here, as well as your habits and your daily rituals, health-related habits are covered here as well. Now, this full moon is a very active one. On the one hand, it is speaking in supreme harmony with Jupiter. Now, I love this energy for you because this is about prosperity. Jupiter, as we start this month, is entering its final two full months in this financial part of your sky. And what this suggests is that since last year, you've been on this journey of understanding prosperity, of expanding your understanding of prosperity. You've been on a journey of growing your sense of what it is that is truly gonna make you happy and what it is that truly is gonna allow you to affirm a healthy sense of self-love and self-esteem and self-respect, all very valuable lessons on the more mundane level, prosperity, on a more spiritual level, self-esteem. Well, it is gonna be now, as Jupiter is really gaining momentum moving forward and speaking with this full moon, that you get that opportunity to connect your daily life with prosperity. So whether it is that you attract uh, certain people that you do want to work with, uh, you bring into your life that sense of where it is that you uh, can use your life in a way to create more prosperity or just on a more mundane level, like you get an, a chance to make more money, really. You get more hours, you get a new client, you get more customers, and it feels like there's abundance abounding. That is a beautiful energy on a more personal level as a result of you emphasizing a higher sense of self-love. You're able to make better choices that affirm a healthy sense of well-being, and you're able to make changes on that level having to do with your habits that help you to feel better within your own skin. But we've also got some challenging energies here as well as Saturn and Pluto both speak with this full moon in a connection of tension. And that's where we need to be a little bit mindful. On one level, where it comes to your work and your workplace, uh, you wanna be a little careful with this because um, you know this can be a sense that maybe uh, there are factors there that feel a little bit unfair or factors there that feel tiring. If it is that you know that you work with people who maybe are not the most enlightened, you know, unfortunately, sometimes we do end up working with people uh, who we feel or we identify as toxic. Some of those tendencies are gonna come forward. But if that's not the case for you, it's not surprise energy at this time. It's more like an intensifying of the energy that's already there. And so if that's not the case, that's not gonna show up, but rather, what you'll find is maybe you yourself are very focused on a particular project or endeavor that you're trying to see through to fruition or maybe something that you are wanting to give your all to and it's truly asking for a lot of your energy and a lot of your time as well. You're pouring so much of yourself into it that you end up wearing yourself out or tiring yourself or burning yourself out. So this is where I want you to be careful because this is where as a result of the demands that you are putting on yourself or that you may feel are being placed on you as a result, it ends up affecting you on a level of health. So you wanna be sure that you are taking the best of care of you, tap into that Jupiterian energy, cultivate a healthy sense of self-love and you'll find yourself making choices that you can feel good about. Where it comes to matters of love, it is gonna be about a week into the month that Venus does enter your sign. And with Venus here, there tends to be not a whole lot you need to do to attract love or to cultivate loving moments into your life. It is thought to be one of the best uh, time frames where it comes to 
experiencing, whether it's greater opportunity or greater love right where you are. This energy will enter your sign about a week in and will be with you right into uh, the early part of next month as well. So you've got some time here to tap into this energy. If you are open to meeting someone new, again, not a whole lot you need to do. Just be yourself as you engage the world and you will find yourself welcoming in opportunities to experience greater love. And for those of you who are just getting to know somebody, it can feel like you're cultivating love at this time. There's a desire for more romance. There's a desire for fun as well. And chances are you will find that supported uh, through a few particularly memorable moments. Now, as it is that Venus is moving through your sign, she is going to connect in harmony with Saturn. She's going to connect in harmony uh, with Pluto. That is in particular in the second half of the month. And that does suggest that you will start to see this person more and more as relationship uh, material partnership possibility. For those of you who are in an established bond, I do think that with Venus in your sign, it is going to feel as if your partner is that much more loving. You're able to cultivate that many more loving moments together. And it can feel as if your partner is being more generous or you're sharing more of yourself. And that ultimately is a really nice energy to share. But ultimately with this and all those beautiful connections that Venus will be making, it does suggest a time when you are feeling especially hopeful about what it is you have together and the future you're moving towards. What I love about this month for you, well, look, it's gotta be the party in your sign. Coming back to Venus for just a moment, when Venus does enter your sign, it tends to uh, be thought to be a good time to make changes on the level of aesthetics. It's thought to be a time to pamper yourself as well. You do want to be a little bit careful. Uh, it is in the first week of uh, Venus entering your sign, right to the middle of the month, that Venus is going to stand across the sky from Uranus. And so that energy can really be very surprising. Uh, it can leave you with uh, different results than you anticipated where it comes to physical changes, for example, that you may pursue. Uh, whether it's new hair color, new wardrobe, or you know something like a tattoo or cosmetic procedure. Even though we've got Venus in your sign, which is a great time to make those changes if you are so inspired or to experiment if you are so inspired. In the middle of the month or at first, not so much, but it is in the second half of the month that that more stabilizing energy comes in that helps you to feel like you are making changes that you love that much more. At the same time, this can be a time of you being who you are, celebrating your life and tapping into your own unique beauty, recognizing it in layers. It's not about the aesthetics. It's about who you are that shines forward, that makes a person that much more beautiful. And I think you as a Scorpio truly do understand this. When you see through to the core of a person, you know whether or not there is beauty there. The great thing is with a month like this, you'll be able to see it in yourself that much more. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.